I think I have a missionary zeal to bring culture closer to young people. Being exposed to culture, theater, novels, films, makes us better thinkers and helps us understand the problems of our world. My name is Fatima Nakfi and I'm a professor of German and film studies. I am interested in the way we move in built space and how that built space influences us. And my new project is on hospitals. I started becoming interested in hospitals as they were being built in the 1880s in the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And at that time, Austria-Hungary was the epicenter of modern medicine. They're thinking about every aspect, ventilation, what kind of windows, what kind of paint do you use on the walls. Whereas the late 20th century is very much about all the stuff that's underground, the hallways that are endless, the bureaucracy that has to be navigated. I was very interested in looking at the way in which artists reflected on those architectural advances. I start with people like Arthur Schnitzler and Rainer Maria Rilke. I move through the 20th century via authors like Thomas Bernhardt, and then I actually look at filmmakers in the 21st century who work on this interface of documentary and fiction. There's a fantastic documentary by Nikolaus Geierhalter about one of these large hospitals that has been recently built in Vienna. He starts us off in the basement where these robots are transporting dirty laundry and the refuse that's left over at the end of the day. Watching this film, you realize that there's so much of it that happens behind closed doors and underground. This whole machine hospital complex to which we're not really privy, but which determines our experience once we're in those walls. It shows us a world where there's no daylight, and it leads also to reflect upon what it might mean for health and recovery to be in these completely artificial spaces. A lot of films started to deal with this in light of Europe's aging population. And we saw it with the pandemic. We were bombarded with images of people in ICUs. These last few years have shown us how hospitals are a very fraught topic for us. What does it mean for the end of our lives that we spend these in institutional settings where we are very cut off from the outside? Most of my work arises out of conversations with people. The wonderful thing about Yale is that the colleagues are so willing to listen to each other, throw ideas around, to be very open and very curious. And the Yale School of Architecture is here. People there have helped me think about space in a new way. As I then encounter particular works of art, books that I'm reading, films that I'm viewing, some of them start to speak in a new way then, and I want to dig deeper. And that usually does entail going to the archives, looking at manuscripts, storyboards, to see what kind of notes are there in the margins, what things tell us beyond the printed page or the completed project. I am hoping to make people more aware of their material surroundings, to think more profoundly about what kind of spaces we are creating for ourselves, for our children, for the future. Whether you're looking at a building or a film or a billboard, everything around us in human culture can be read and interpreted. And I think that we have to return to them over and over again to be able to finally really see them and understand them. That's not something that you can do with a quick glance.